There we go. Important. <laughs> Caught it. Is it going? Because I didn't. Oh, my yeah. Volume it told down. me it did. Yeah. <clears throat> Sarah's saying what you ladies are doing or what you ladies are doing make us able to help change the world. Definitely. I mean, if you guys knew how much these girls work, they're all volunteers, everybody, including me, all of us that work for Airway Circle, we're all volunteers. All the money that comes in Airway Circle gets rolled in and it just goes back into the company. It's not, you know, somebody told me the other day that they couldn't share something about Airway Circle because it was my company. It's not like that. So you don't really know what the mission of Airway Circle is. We are here to grow the field, to help everybody. So thank you for that, Sarah. Shadow somebody. If you know if there's a myofunctional therapist around you or somebody that's, you know, doing this, ask, can I please come and watch you take patients? Can I, or even like a physical therapist or an occupational therapist, you know, can I come and see what you do? Uh, that's a great way to get in front of a professional so you can start collaborating together. I told everybody just, you hear Benny laughing. Benny's so cute. <laughs> just yesterday, I went to a massage therapist. He's an orthopedic massage therapist. And um, because he knew about Mayo, like he knew so much about it. It was crazy awesome. and about breath and um, all these different breathing techniques. Um, but I literally, I didn't shadow him because I didn't have any patience, but he ended up, you know, doing some of the things that he does on me. So I really understood how he could, he could help my patients and he was fantastic. Um, watch, practice and learn. No supervision, no direction, figure out on your own business ownership and marketing. Um, this is about being a hygienist, right? You guys remember? I think it's mostly just how we feel when we get. Oh, I remember. Of course. Mm -hmm. I remember because we have no supervision whenever we are practicing. When we're first practicing myofunctional therapy, you don't really have a direction. You have to figure it out in your own. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is hard. It was, I remember doing that and being like, ah, oh, so you're trying your hardest to find people to soak up the knowledge. And that's why. Um, not just the course, but airway circle is such a huge thing. And the more like uh, Sarah's saying, it's, you know, us doing it, but what makes us, us is that everybody is supporting and trying mm -hmm. to do the exact same thing and spread the awareness. Yes. And how do you even own a business? You know, we're not really trained to do that. So we talk a lot, uh, a lot about that and about marketing. How do you put yourself out there? How do you get patients from online? If you live in a place, that was a question yesterday. If you live in a place where you have no referrals, nobody to send your patients. Um, thank you. That's um, Parisa. Is it Parisa? <laughs> Parisa is yeah. I love you, Parisa. Thanks, Parisa. Um, if you guys, so that's what I do. You know, I just started working on social media and I got a lot of my patients from there. So I end up, you know, I'm able to refer patients all over the place. Um, so I don't really have a big issue with local, local patients or not having a referral, a great referral in Savannah. How do you do your comprehensive evaluation? Does anybody want to take this? Oh, I'll do it. So comprehensive evaluation. Um, what we do a lot of in person is, um, gosh, everything. So when I set up my office, I have a tray. Uh, just like we do in the dental office for our instruments um, and on the tray, I don't put everything in particular because not everything fits and I don't want everything to look crowded. So then what I do is I get um, just a piece of paper, but I use colored pieces of paper. So you go to the staple store or whatever, and you get yourself purple, blue, green, whatever color your business colors are, get that color and try to, you know, create the, uh, like color, um, you know, uh, everything in your office and in your, on your tray, you have everything that you need, have everything out that way you don't have to go through your drawers and that way you don't have, so you get the hang of putting everything out there. But when you have, um, your paperwork in front of you, because I do both simple practice and I send my papers to them, but I also have written a, a you know, a stapled piece of paper for the evaluation. 
um, you want to make sure that you can take notes because they may all of a sudden say, oh, I forgot to write this down on my, you know, documents on the computer. So on your forms, you just always want to have something to write with. And actually I'm twiddling with my pen right, ha right now, my office pen. You, I like having my own pens and just letting everybody carry them as well and walk away with them. But you want to have all of your tools out there, your Myo Lip Reader, if you use that, your um, range of motion tool, your um, foods that you're going to watch them have, your bottle of water with a clear cup, everything that you have out there. Um, if you know that they are going to have uh, and sign on for therapy, you want to make sure you already have pre-stuffed patient bags if you want to go ahead and give them out all at the same time. And when you do, if you see them in person, you want them to bring it at to every appointment. So in case you do change up your exercises a little bit or your series of them, then you wanna make sure that they have all of their tools with them so that you don't have to give extra out. Or what I also like to do is if they're in person, then I don't give them a patient bag. But if I know that they're gonna have some virtual sessions in the future, then I go ahead and I give them the bag and just ask them to um, to, to bring it at every appointment. Your camera, you want to make sure that you have a good camera because you don't want any blurry pictures. And I know that I've been guilty of that. Um, as I've been aging, my eyes have been changing. So if you wear readers, put your readers on so you can see your camera screen so that you know where to focus as I'm well. I'm laughing because you let me borrow your readers. <laughs> Here. <laughs> here. I do. And you know what? I don't have them on. I don't even know where they are here. Thankfully, I'm not writing anything down really. Um, PowerPoint, I like to show my patients and my clients, new, new patients, um, a PowerPoint at the end of the uh, comprehensive evaluation, mostly because I, I show it at the end. I don't show it at the beginning because I don't want them to kind of cheat when I'm asking them to move their jaw, move their tongue, and I'm doing the evaluations. Um, I don't want them to know exactly where their tongue is supposed to go because I want an unbiased um, movement right there on all of my videos. Um, and when it comes to the camera, you want to make sure that you take videos as well. Um, and on my form, I have a checklist of videos that I do take. Um, and it's, you know, it's a checklist. And then you just go down the list. And I've been doing, you know, a lot of evaluations, but I still in front of the patient do my checklist. There's just something about them seeing you making sure that you are covering everything. Um, and then what I do afterwards is when I do my evaluation uh, and I enter it into the computer system, then I, um, I go through my videos in slow motion because I want to see all of the muscles moving. I do want to see if, yeah, if they do have any type of uh, compensations, do they, am I missing? Are they flaring the nostrils when they're swallowing? Are they blinking just a little bit? Are they twitching their shoulder something? So I do uh, watch my videos in slow motion and it can take up to a week to be able to watch it because if I have suspicions, I'm going to go back and I'm going to rewatch it. When do I do that? <laughs> At a kid's soccer game or baseball game sometime. <laughs> and then, and these ladies, you know, Tamara and Renata, I'm like, yeah, I'm sitting at the baseball game right now and I'm rewatching, you know, the swallowing technique of my, Anyhow, um, PowerPoint, yep, I show that at the end. And it's basically a run through of what we did during the appointment and then what the four main goals of myofunctional therapy are. Three, but we do add in the, the, the proper swallowing at the end of that as well. Um, we also want to add in patient education material. Airway Circle, um, we all worked very, very hard. Uh, I can't say we all did. Renata and Anne <laughs> and, uh, uh, worked very diligently on making sure that the resources um, were all correct and thought out. And we have Airway Circle has uh, oral ties, um, oral habits. Uh, what is myofunctional therapy? What's sleep breathing? breathing dis yep, sleep disordered breathing, um, tongue thrust. Gosh, uh, if you go to the Airway Circle uh, website, you can go on and look at all the pamphlets. They are very good quality. And uh, you can also staple your business card on there. Or if you have a sticker label, you can put your sticker label on there as well. There is a place on each and every one of these brochures. But having patient education material so that your patient can go home after their comprehensive evaluation, or if it's a virtual one, then you can mail it to them as well. Um, and you want to be sure that they leave with something in their hand, because if you have uh, and even, even uh, when you do give something to them and you do put your name on these pamphlets, 
um, if you write notes on it, or if you go ahead and make sure you give your business pen to them to write things down, you know, just say, hey, why don't you jot this down here? And then you flip open into the pamphlet um, and you just say, okay, this is the oral ties pamphlet. Why don't you go ahead here on the inside? Why don't you go ahead and go to this right, right here? This is what I'm talking about with your little Johnny. I want you to circle this. That way you know, and you have a quick reference, then they're engaged. And when you give something to them that's tactile, then you, they're really engaged and you really hit a really good spot with them. Not only are they coming to you anyway for your trust and your evaluation and your professionalism and your knowledge, but um, they really want to feel that you're engaging with them. So giving them something and then making it personalized is a very special touch. And a lot of times the mom wants to, for example, give some information to the dad so they know what's going on because we're saying so much stuff a lot of times they're like oh my gosh how can I even you know say all of this again to their dad um so it's great to have something like that and the best way to use those pamphlets is to staple your card to it that's what I usually do exactly where right where the references are I just staple right there my business card. Can we order these from Airway pamphlets from the website, Airway Circle website. Yes, mm -hmm. those are available and they're all referenced, which is what is amazing. They're yeah, all from so airwaycircle.com uh, slash store or shop, maybe shop. Uh, we have t-shirts. Okay. We're, we're actually almost out of t-shirts and almost out of cups, um, but we have those over there and we have tons of pamphlets that you guys can uh, you guys can choose from. I my battery is dying. So to add on to that real fast, all of that stuff we we give you each one of us. So the PowerPoint that we utilize, we give it to you to download in the course to make your own, put your own logo and everything on it. Um, we go over all the links of everything that we put in kits, um, how we organize the kits. So it's more how to do all of it, which can take a lot of time if you're trying to figure it out on your own. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what else? Performing a physical. I mean, physical, physical. Performing an evaluation in person. <laughs> um, so, if you have an office, what exactly do you do? Thank you for the heart. I don't know who did that. And I see breath tape on here. If you guys have not checked it out, please check them out. I miss you guys. How have y'all been doing? Um, so how exactly do you do a comprehensive evaluation in person and um, virtual? I think we ended up um, giving a little bit more. I think we have more than three, don't we? I think we do. Uh, now Tamara is thinking. Uh, documents and forms. All of those forms the patients have to fill out in the beginning, HIPAA, financial, um, whatever it's Renata, called. I think. <laughs> when will this course go back live? August 8th, uh, this course starts. Uh, but we're going to give something. If you guys want to sign up tonight, you're going to get something. Um, we have books right there. Angela has a book. But you're also going to be able to pick a past previous course that we have had, which can go from up to $250. Um, it's a course. So you can pick your course, just let me know and I'll grant your um, access to it if you sign up tonight for lunch in or Mayo. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I feel like I need to eat some food. I'm off today. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with me? Uh, I think it's because Benny all of our is distracting me. <laughs> oh, there's Tamara. I know, I just, that's what it is. I hear. Uh, cocoa melon and oh. <laughs> now it's bleepy on the background and it's really throwing me off so I apologize um, but physical office how do you exactly do a therapy uh, a full evaluation how do you do it online I, <clears throat> and uh, we literally record the whole thing and show you guys step by step and since there's three of us all of us have such different ways that we that we see patients all of us have different courses that we have taken so you're getting over here i mean how many malfunctional therapy courses have you guys taken i'll count oh. so i took iom i took sarah hornsby i took 
um, Brazilian ones, uh, I don't even know how many Brazilian ones, probably five different ones now. Mm -hmm. um, how about you guys? And, and plus all the other courses, but am I a functional therapy only? Yeah, I think I'm at four or five. I think I'm, on, I'm in my, the fifth right now, but the rest is like, you know, breathing and uh, exactly. tots and conventions and all that. And Angela also, and all of us have taken not only so many courses, but different courses. So the way that we decided to, you know, to do a comprehensive evaluation and therapy sessions, they're all different. So you're literally learning a little bit from each one of us and you can take whatever you'd like and run with it. Uh, so all of our documents and forms, so the financial, HIPAA, patient information, history, medical history form, or I just have a history form. Um, I think I share with you guys my notes and our full evaluation. Do I share the full evaluation? <gasps> yeah, I am. That's pretty big. I have a hard time giving that away. I cannot believe I put it on there. <laughs> so, I mean, we give everything to you guys. You know, you can take and run with it, whatever you would like. You're going to be ready in two months. You're going to be like comfortable and ready and seeing patients and your business is going to be set up. Like you're going to, you know, get things done that you don't have to go back to. You don't have to look back. Now, all you have to do is focus on getting patients and treating patients. How wonderful is that? All right. And that was for day two. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to talk about building a referral team. Uh, and we have a couple of people here with us today. Uh, they're not on Instagram. So let me see if what I can do so Instagram can hear her. I can turn the screen around maybe. I know, but the volume. Oh. I'm going to have to turn that on. I think I think I can do it. Hold on. So welcome. Hey, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Can you please introduce yourself? And uh, let me stop sharing my screen. Uh, introduce yourself and tell everybody about your experience with the course. Sienna. She's she's talking, she's but she's muted. She's on mute. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, hi, everyone. Is everybody enjoying tonight? Second day. Yes. Can everybody hear her on Instagram? Can you guys hear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Without the. Okay. What was the question again? I'm sorry. I was trying to move everything on my screen. You're good. I was just asking you about the course. What was your experience with the course? So, of course, it was fantastic. Um, I, it was my third Mayo course. Um, my first course I took was Christina Bridges' um, small little intro, and that got me hooked. And then um, because of the recommendations, I took Mayo Mentor, which gave me all of the knowledge, I shouldn't say all of the knowledge. Obviously, we're still learning all the time, but it was a ton of knowledge, gave us templates, gave us like I went to college and I got my little bit of a mile degree, but then I got done and I was like, okay, this is great. Um, what do I do from here? And so um, I actually was a director of a nonprofit clinic and I um, um, also uh, managed my um, dental office that I worked at as a hygienist. So I was familiar with a lot of the business aspect of it, um, but I didn't have any of the templates of really how to actually do Mayo on a day-to-day -day basis. So I had, here's your sessions that you have, you should go through, but um, all three of the ladies are totally different. Um, and I'm a little bit of all three of them. Um, you know, Angela is very, very um, uh, focused and detailed about things. Tamara is like, this is what I am. I'm cut to the chase. No, none of this. That part too. And then Renata is just kind of the person that says, hey, let's just wing it and see where it goes from here. Um, and it, I've never had a class where you actually fit, like I fit everyone. Um, and so they, they are not shy about answering any questions. They literally will give you everything that you need. So Sarah gave me templates. Sarah gave me a lot of stuff, but there was a lot of business stuff that I did not have any idea how to go about running my own LLC. I, you know, you ask them questions. They're not shy about anything. 
the tool section that they did. Um, Renata's tools, Tamara's tools, and Angela's tools, all, I learned all a little bit different. Like I literally went on, as I was in class going, got to order this, got to order this, got to order this. <laughs> it's probably $50 in person now. <laughs> um, it is great. Um, they are fantastic about just taking you from, here's your beginning, you got your knowledge, what do you do from there? So they give you virtual um, classes or, you know, virtual therapy. They'll give you in-person therapy. They give you literally everything you need for each part from like list of 25 things. Um, they show you kind of how to work everything. The social media aspect that Renata went through was fantastic. I still have not done that quite yet. Um, that's my next goal. Um, but they run through everything with you and it's quite amazing to go through it. And it's just like their family. So, you know, it's pretty uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to go through with them. It gave me enough push that um, I am in September just doing my own completely. I am, you know, <laughs> so, just spreading the word. <laughs> that is our goal. We need it. Is literally the verbiage of launch is exactly what it is. It launches you into the next level. So I was thinking about that today. It was like. You know, actually, the class name is perfect. It is just launches you in after you have this ball of knowledge, and what do you do from there? So, and there, there's so much experience and so much difference with everybody that it's just, it really was a fantastic class. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I mean, there you can't even touch anything for that amount of money. The stuff that you learn, everything else is two to three times the cost of that. So, if you just factor in that stuff. That alone is uh, you know, worth taking the class. Even if you think you know everything, even if you think you've got it all figured out. I mean, I don't know if I'd do this if I was 15, 20 years into them as a myotherapist, but especially the first like, le you know, less than five years, I you're going to learn something. Totally. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Oh my Thank God. You. It's interesting uh, hearing from other people, other people's perspectives, because you know, we put this together um, to because of areas that we found were lacking. And to hear people actually say what they got from it, you know, it just makes it so amazing. Hello, Dr. Honor Franklin. She is a queen. Fantastic. Danelle is also here. Danelle, do you want to share? I would love to because this class helped me so much. Deanna, you really discussed every point because you it it was um I took two my functional therapy before this. It was an IOM and then um my mentor, which my mentor, yes, I agree. I felt like I was ready to do. And then there were those baby steps that wait, there's, there's point A and then there's point M and I'm not, I'm not filling in the dots. So when this came through, the last time I watched the lives, I thought, okay, I'll get a little extra something. No, you get so much more than a lot. Um, it was, um, engaging. You felt comfortable, um, no matter where you were at or what little stumbling question you had, these girls were wonderful and supportive addressed even personal points with you so that if you had particular things you were stuck on, they hit you back with a response or came up in the Q and a class. Um, we talked about so much more, even in the Q and a class than was in the course itself. But seeing all of their styles and they're all so giving in everything they bring to you, um, sharing it all. No, no holds barred, just sharing everything. So if each of them, yes, Deanna, I agree with you. There was like a little bit in each of them, right, um, that you could take. And I don't want to categorize e any of you because you all, I could see there's lots of different facets to you. But yes, yes, I, you can pull out anything from these girls virtual or in office or a combination of both they're just thank you guys so so much and last night Angela put a little note in that they will always be there for you so that was actually a little bonus thank you definitely oh my goodness thank you for sharing this makes me so happy guys this is fantastic and it's almost time to go does anybody have any questions let me turn myself okay. off Oh my gosh, sorry. Put your camera on on the next there side. You yeah. go. There you go. Um, 
I did my filter. I just have a big smile on my face now. Thank you, ladies. And so it's so nice. true. So I do sweet. wink it. <laughs> it's just so true about it's just, it. It is. It's true about each one of us exactly. <laughs> I am. You wing it and you get it done. And you just go. Do we have any questions over here that we can repeat for uh, Instagram? Um, someone was asking when Deanna finished the class. <clears throat> She said in June is when we finished. Yeah, so the course is two months long. And within the first month, you're already changing a lot of things that you are doing. Um, and Cherie was one of them. I think it was within a week she got three new patients. And she just kept messaging me going like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I closed another one. Another one accepted treatment, you know? And that's why, um, you know, uh, Deanna said, said something about the name of the course. So launch, yes, let's launch um, yourself and your business and then inner Mayo because we all have this knowledge that's in here and literally all we do is just help you get it out there. You know, you already yeah. know this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's the confidence, I think, and the, the community and safe place and all of that that kind of just launches you into, okay, I can do this. I got this. I, you know, how do I put all this information together and uh, get started? Definitely. If you guys ever have any questions, we are here to answer them. Um, we're all together. Definitely. We're not going anywhere. No. Nope. And I'm thinking that we're going to start adding everybody who gets launched in Mayo. I think we're going to add you guys to our circle time WhatsApp group. Uh, our study club WhatsApp group. <clears throat> it's really fun. We share a lot of stuff in there. Um, Can I explain WhatsApp? Because some people don't under know what that is. Yes. Like, what are we sharing? And so... WhatsApp was actually huge in Brazil. It started over there and then Facebook bought it some years ago, but it's a group messaging where you can share videos and photos very easily. You know how sometimes you go to send somebody a video and it says it's too long. Um, it's much easier to do that on WhatsApp and, and photos also. Um, so we have our group right here. It's, I don't know, I can't show any photos. It is circle time. So that's what it is shows right there on the top circle time and literally we just send each other messages and we ask about patients and we talk about treatment um case it's, studies it's, almost yes almost, <laughs> almost like case studies you know this is the patient that i just saw today this is what i um <clears throat> found what do you guys think anyway so if you sign up for launch inner mile tonight you will get the first person gets the book that angela was showing There he goes from Dr. Lambert. He's the one that throws a penny that we went to New York this year, if you guys saw it. Um, you're also going to be added to the WhatsApp group. And you're going to get to pick one course that we have done before, and you can watch the course for free. So yesterday, if you signed up by yesterday, you got access to Circle Time completely. Sign up to what on Instagram? So we're here talking, I know that you just joined. We're here talking about the course that we are launching starts August 8th. It's a two month course. It is self-paced. Self um, each week you get a new module and it's for those people who have taken their uh, myofunctional therapy course, but still have not fully launched their practice. It is more of a business course than a myofunctional therapy course. Uh, and we go step by step to teach you how to just start your practice and just have a successful running practice where you can just focus on seeing patients. You don't have to focus on the business stuff because it's all given to you. <clears throat> what did Anel say? She said, I didn't say how much this group helped boost confidence and surety in what you're doing and how much you can do without any business experience. Oh, good. <laughs> that's our goal i think that I was our goal really when we question. started it oh sorry okay. Tam. go for it i have an anonymous question i have launched my business already is this course still worth doing definitely a hundred percent uh how many patients are you seeing are you um full time right now you're still gonna learn so much from watching us see our patients can you read the last message, Angela? 
To those of you on the fence, do it. You will not regret it and you will learn new things from how to set up your in-person and virtual office, all the items needed, complete therapy session, tools used, business setup, social media marketing from all of the three ladies. There you go, seriously. And I, I mean, if the worst that it happens is you don't learn anything, guess what? We'll give your money back. 100% guaranteed. If you take the course and you feel like you did not learn anything, I will personally give your money back. It is not a big deal. We're not doing this for money. We're doing this because we need more professionals that are qualified and that are ready to see patients because there are way too many people out there that need your help. That's why we're here. We are here to grow the field and we need your help. So if you are a myofunctional therapist that has taken some courses but still don't feel confident into seeing more patients and just getting your business out there, um, join us. That's, you know, that's exactly what we're doing. Launch in Ohio. Uh, uh, Danelle said, Deanna, didn't it surprise you how much you got out of the course to propel you forward with a big smiley face and Deanna shaking her head, right, nodding her head right now. Um, I had already had patients and my LLC before taking it, but this pushed me to jump all in. I am so excited. And, you know, several of the girls are, you know, quitting hygiene and going full time after taking this course yeah. uh, or have so many more patients that, you know, they did before. If you get one patient, again, your investment is paid for. And I promise you, you're going to get an extra patient from something that you're going to learn on the, in this course. So anyways, don't think twice. We are here to help you guys. Uh, I'm just a regular person. Somebody said. <laughs> really? Oh, um, maybe not at my Instagram. Yes, if you have not taken a Maya functional therapy course yet, this is not for you. Um, but if you're just a regular person, we have a podcast, Airy Circle Radio, that you can listen and learn a lot of good stuff. We have a YouTube channel, just look for us on Airy Circle on YouTube. And we have every Thursday night, we have lives on zoom if you go to our link on uh, instagram bio you're going to find the links for the events that we have every single thursday at 8 p.m eastern standard time uh, we also go live on facebook at the same time so you either can watch us on zoom or on facebook sarah is saying nothing like learning from the best of the bunch who all started like us wanting better for everyone definitely Yes. Um, so we are here to answer any more questions you guys have. Is anybody on the fans that, what do you guys need that we can help you with? Any other questions? Can we hang up for tonight? Tomorrow, mm -hmm. we're going to be live at 3 p.m. I think a dad is having a hard time <laughs> holding the kids oh. back. Oh, he is? Um, yeah, well, I'm always holding my kids back over here too when we're trying to do these lives. <laughs> but um, I think that's it. Tomorrow we're gonna meet at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is our last live of the three. We're gonna be talking about how to build your referral source. Thank you, thank you. And seriously, the first person that joins us tonight will get the book that um, Angela is showing and for everybody else who joins us tonight until tomorrow at three you will get access to one extra course all you can do is just pick the course you want to take um, we have courses on my functional therapy and sleep disorder breathing we have course on my functional therapy and special needs population we have a tmd court or tmd and cbct course we have two breathing course with roger price and dan hansen there's several ones out there. There's an emphatic drainage course. So you can pick one of those to watch for free if you join Launch Your Mile tonight. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. Thank you for your time. Danelle and Dina, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Guys, everybody. Amazing. And Heather, I can't wait to see you there. You're going to do great with this course. I know it. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye. Good to bye. see everyone. Bye. Thanks for joining.